Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today, working on the Brothers 67 Chevy short box hood. We got her all painted up, all done, and on one of his first drives, he got this major chip. So hard that it actually dented things a little bit. So, we're gonna have to just do a little tiny repair right here, which is no big deal. And then we're going to have to kind of blend it a little bit and then um, we're going to re-clear the whole hood. You know, just to make it look like it's just brand new again. So, let's get started on this. I think what I'll do is just take the die grinder and, and then we'll just use a little bit of putty to fill that back in. It's an easy repair, but it's one of those jobs that you wish you never ever had to do. You know, a little tiny chip, you put a little bit of paint in there. But it's something that major, you can see that from 10 feet away. So that's not good. All right, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is give her a little wax and grease remover. We'll uh, definitely uh, be cleaning the hood very, very well before we do any sanding. Use a water-based cleaner first, and then we'll use a, a uh, petroleum base. Get both sides of the uh, dust. pretty big for just uh, spot putty so I'm going to use a little bit of this fiberglass reinforced filler first sand it down with some E grit and then we'll put a little spot putty on there Feather the paint edge here after I get this in. Now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a sand with some 80 grit. Now, you got some choices in life. You can let that get really hard and spend a lot of time sanding, or you can just leave it a little soft. That sounds really easy. And I'm just going to lightly feather some of this paint back as well at the same time. All right, a little bit of putty on that. Should have her. Hit her with a little bit of 80 grit, and a little bit of 150. And we'll put a little primer on her. We're going to take a scuff cloth and just scuff this area so our primer, of course, is going to stick. That's a no-brainer.
Don't put too much pressure on there because you can really uh, do some damage. Just take your time. Nice and easy. I'll get her done before my camera dies here. I'm just using a U pole high bill, right? Couple light coats, we'll sand her up tomorrow and give her another one. Alright, let this dry overnight. And now I'm just gonna give it a little bit of sand with some 220. Looks good. Make another couple coats of primer. Things are looking good. Alright, well I failed to tell you that what we're going to do here is on this hood we're going to put the, uh, the Chevrolet emblem on the front here. So I've got an old hood here with the holes in it, and I'm just going to make a tan plate out of cardboard. So this is kind of like bonus footage. You know, you thought you were just going to get a, you know, a boring uh, little repair job, but now I'm going to transfer some holes over. So I'm just using some cardboard. I think that's going to be a lot better than measuring, because measuring, you know, there's always that little bit, but then what we'll do is uh, we will confirm with a tape measure. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to go right along the front edge. Start off on the corner. This one here, and then I have to bring it down and then mark it. Beautiful day today. Nice and sunny. We haven't had too many of those yet this year. Okay, can cut that. And then we're just gonna just gonna keep going along here, and then we're just gonna go on the back side, mark where the holes are, and then we can transfer it over. So the the main hole, these are uh, the little letters are bolted on. So you have a hole for that, and then you have a lineup hole. So the main hole. I'm just going to use a, a screw and then I can pop it. Wow. Well, I know where that is. 
And then for the lineup screw, just take a quick look and see where it's at. And I'm just going to rub the uh, cardboard here. I'm using just my die grinder. You can use the end of your scissors or anything just to try and find where the hole is. That looks pretty good right there. And then I'm just going to take and just run my drill through there. Can't get more exact than that. I'll run the right size drill through these ones. They're a little different size. So I think I'm going to have to make sure I do the right size on the main hole. There's a lot of letters to do. That looks really good. Actually, if I just use the end of my die grinder, it puts that hole in there perfectly. Hmm. See? You learn as you go. Oh, now i got to bend over. Damn it. Really happy with that. Okay, now we can transfer this over to the other one. Make your marks. I'm not going to rip the tape off. I'm going to actually cut it so I don't deform anything. There, now all we have to do is just uh, use our pencil, transfer the marks over, and then we can drill them. So hopefully, oh yeah, I'll be able to see that pencil mark. Now, I really I am against using a felt marker on anything like this, because if you don't get rid of that little felt marker mark, it's going to come through your paint and it, you'll never ever get rid of it. I took some measurements and everything is exact. So this is the way to do it. Do a cardboard tan plate. So you're really, if you're, if you're just doing measurements, you know, you're going to get it out a little ways. But by doing this, this is exactly what it uh, original is. And you know, if you don't like the way your V looks, you can always just do a little filing and tweak it a little bit and make it work. Chevy does a pretty good job. I know that uh, on the old Mercury's, they uh, they're out a little ways, but we don't change them. It's the way they come from factory, so we kind of like that, uh, you know, the factory look. Now the beauty thing here, 
I got two different sizes of holes, three sixteenths and actually one less than one eighth. But what I'm gonna do, the, the, the bigger one's always on the left, so that's good. So I don't have to, you know, mark each one. I can uh, just know that the bigger one's on the left. Okay. Now we'll see if I got all the marks. Yep, that looks good. Yep. Yep. Alright, so what I don't want to do is blow right into it with the drill bit I got. I want to use a small one, shorten it up as much as I can, make sure it's perfectly sharp. And we're going to pre drill these, and then I remeasured the holes. Uh, small one's 1 8 and 532 for the big one. So let's get them centered with a small bit and we'll uh, make them a little bit bigger. Take your time. Get it started. That yeah, looks good. It's a lot more nerve-wracking than you think. Now, let's say we weren't going to uh, re-clear this, because that's what I'm doing because of the uh, repair. You're going to have to come in with a little bit of paint and just paint around these circles here, just so that the rust doesn't start right away. We got them all done. It looks awesome. It looks so so good. So I had a little trouble with the L and the E and just a slight little file. You really just take your time with that file 
and now everything fits this stuff so perfectly. So, gotta check this out. Two E's, one's got the doinger at the top, and this one here is, if you can see that, one's in the middle. You'd think they make them both the same. All right, the stressful job is done. Now we can prep this hood, get it ready for paint. The next step in this operation is we've got to tape this up. Now, we've got holes on the outside, so when I clear this, it's going to come in. So now we've got to make sure that this is all taped up or we're going to get overspray on, uh, on everything. So every hole, put a little bit of paper up in here and here. Just do our best. A little bit of plastic is all we're going to need. Now this plastic here, this is special automotive plastic, so the paint won't stick to it, but you got to make sure you got the right, it says spray this side. Make sure you get that right. Okay, we got it all taped up now, and then what we're going to do is uh, clean the shop, and then I'm going to sand it. Typically, you want to get all your sanding done, but I don't want to keep moving the hood around, so that's why I taped it. Yeah, I think I'm going to be okay. So, let's get that done. Well, we'll get my shop clean first, then we'll get the sanding done, and we'll get it on spraying. Can't wait. Well, my shop couldn't be cleaner. So, we are going to take and wipe this down with a degreaser. This is water base. Have you got any sap or uh, bug guts or anything on there? It won't come off with the regular thinner. You gotta use a water base. So the sand is clear, all I'm doing is uh, I'm hitting it with some 320 first and then I'm going to go over it with 400. Now anything like at the top here, along these edges, you want to be really, really careful. Maybe even do it with a scuff cloth. Because you got to make sure that you do not cut through your, uh, your edges or you're in big trouble. Now a guy could just go along and scuff this up with a scuff cloth, but then you're not getting any orange peel or uh, you want it as nice and flat as you possibly can. So a little 320, that'll help take any of the dust spots down, and a little 400 to finish.
sand it, glue it off. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a wax and grease remover. This step really helps clean it up. Pulls a little the dust out of the, out of the sanding marks. So today we're prepping. Tomorrow we'll be uh, painting. It's a little cold today. After uh, feathering out the paint the best I can to blend it out, I put on two coats of clear and after that she's a done deal. Now I didn't do too much taping, I didn't tape the second coat of clear because it's a little rough on the, uh, on the camera even though I've got it covered up with plastic. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch up to you on the next one.